Hi. I'm uh, going to show you how to use clothing, props, which are properties, things that cartoon characters carry with them, and the gesture, the way the character stands, the things the character does with his or her hands, uh, to use all these things to communicate to the person that looks at your drawings what the character is all about, what the character's age might be, what uh, his or her occupation might be, what their personality might be like, etc. Okay, I've got a character up here on the easel, and I think, at a glance, it should be very easy for whoever looks at it uh, to tell what this character is all about. Uh, I hope you recognize the character as being a, a country boy, sort of a Huck, Huckleberry Finn type character. Uh, he's dressed in bib overalls, got a little patch on his knee, the straw hat thrown back on the head, uh, just coming back from fishing. And I think the prop here is important in developing his uh, personality, where he might live, what type of character he might be, because it's just a bamboo fishing pole you might use at the old fishing hole. It's not a fiberglass spin casting rod. He's got a little hay seed in his mouth. There's another character here. I think by looking at the way the clothing and the gesture, the thing the character's doing here, is a, a pretty easy to tell that this is a basketball player. That's very characteristic of a basketball player, spinning the ball on the end of his finger. I never could do that. Big uh, basketball shoes, sweatband. Got another character here. This is a flashback from my childhood. I remember going to the doctor, and this is sort of what my family doctor looked like. And you make mental... Uh, records of the kinds of things that the particular character uses. In this case, a doctor, tongue depressors, the sticky sticks in your mouth to get you open your mouth, a little hammer to test your knee reflex, and a little reflector on the top of his head. And of course, and I've exaggerated this prop, we've got the old hypodermic needle. Okay, why don't I show you how you can take props, clothing, gesture, let me get those out of the way, and sort of build a cartoon character for you using those things. Now, I think it's interesting at this point that it's hard to tell what this character is supposed to be, what he's all about. Uh, maybe you get a hint from the way uh, he's standing, but all we have here is a head stuck on top of some basic shapes. There's no way really at this point to tell what the character is going to be. If I start to add some particular props, clothing, etc. You might be able to tell. Maybe that helps out. Here's, here's one of the pieces of clothing I think that'll really give you a good hint as to what this character's supposed to be. Have any idea yet what we're building toward? Yeah, I think, if you haven't guessed by now, uh, it's a cowboy. We've got this give them a vest. Clothing is very important. You know, when you read books or go to the movies or watch TV, you sort of make records in your mind of uh, the things that you see, what these particular things look like. Uh, well, uh, hello, Cindy. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, drawing a cartoon character. Yeah, uh, uh, showing how to use props and jets. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, well, clothing's important, Cindy, but this isn't exactly what we had in mind. You see, this is... Uh, uh, yeah, well, he's already got a nose, but, you know, say, that's a pretty interesting nose. I really admire that nose for some reason. Uh, it looks sort of like mine, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, 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 sunglasses, great, but, uh, oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute, Cindy. Uh, these sunglasses look awfully familiar to me. They wouldn't by any chance belong to Zebtron, would they? Oh, I see. You borrowed them to see if I could use them in my drawing. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I tell you what, I'll hold on to them, and then I'll give them to, uh, Zebtron when I see him, okay? Thanks, Cindy. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can stay and watch if you like. Yeah. Can you tell what the character is so far? I've got a 
Yeah, you got it. He's a cowboy. That's Cindy. Boy, she's sharp. Sharp. Right. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put his arm up. Maybe we'll put something in his hand later. This is my favorite part of the uh, cowboy outfit. A little uh, gun belt here. Yeah, for defense only. Only for defense. You know, out on the... Uh, out on the range, rattlesnakes, etc. Let's put that holster in there. All right. I'll sort of let it hang over his leg. And a big revolver. Right. Oh, a little background music. That's great. Yeah, that gets me in the mood. Can you do hoof beats? That's it. You got it. Chaps. Yeah, they uh, protect the uh, cowboy's legs from uh, the horse, etc. Cactus. If you brush up against the cactus, you're not wearing your chaps. Well, you're in trouble. Okay, and let's get the boots on him. High heel cowboy boots. I could put spurs on him later. Okay, I think you get the idea. And let's see what we can do with his hands. Maybe we can put Zebtron's glasses in his hand. How's that? So you did help after all. Okay. I have some magnificent drawings I got from a student who dared to conquer that flat piece of paper. He learned the seven magic words of drawing and really, really controlled the piece of paper. Now take a look at this. This is Kimby's drawing. It's a girl. Now, this is Kimby's pretest. Now, I would suggest that you do this sometimes and you have an extra chance to take a piece of paper and do six sketches and to put a date on it and measure your drawing skill now as compared to after a few days after you really learn these magic words and you control that piece of paper. Look at this. This is the first day. Twelve days later, take a look at this. Now, see if you can't spot out all the different areas where Kimby used the magic words. Surface. You see where she used surface in there? See how the near corner of the building is lower in the paper in the far corner? Size. You see where she used size? What about contour? You see the contour lines wrapping around the legs of the robot there in the middle? What about overlapping? What about density? Look at that. Beautiful drawing. Shading also. Thanks, Kimby, for seeing that. It's really good work.